In this video, I'll show you how to program your DirecTV remote to your TV and RF, which stands for radio frequency. I will go over the most basic error and point you to another video if you need additional help. Let's program this remote control as quickly as possible. The first thing is we're going to program this to RF. It's only going to take literally like three to four seconds to get it done. By programming it to radio frequency, it means that you can change the remote without having to point it to the TV or the receiver. Now, these are the different type of receivers out there at the time that I'm making this video. The most common type of error is having a low battery. Why? When you have a low battery, you can actually change the channel with the remote, but it will not complete the RF programming. Consider buying rechargeable batteries, as I'm showing you here. Once I bought these, I stopped worrying about low batteries on remote control and then i put them on the battery daddy first let's go ahead and turn on your receiver now you're going to go ahead and get your remote and point it towards the receiver get close if you're in a dark room push the button to light up the keypad now push the mute and enter buttons at the same time point it towards the unit now you will hold it and you will notice that green light blink several times now it's programming in the television you will see applying rf ir setup now your remote is ready for RF. Click OK. Hit the thumbs up if it's working and subscribe to support. I have links to this remote control or anything you see in the video in the description below. Now if you can't change the channel or you get this dreaded red blinking light, that means you have an error. Now at this point, you're going to have to refer to this video. This is in-depth technical support and it goes over the type of errors you can get with the if battery. If you're still having problems, it shows you how to reset the factory settings and also how to find out if there's a defect in your remote control so you can get going. Now we're going to program the remote to the TV. In your remote, push the menu button. Look on your TV screen and you will scroll down to the settings option using the down arrow keys on your remote control. Now when you look at your television, you will see the settings menu. Scroll to the right using your right arrow key and stop on the remote control option. On the bottom right side, you will see pair and program remotes like that. Select change the TV option. Type the first few letters of your TV brand or scroll down to it. Select it. I always start with I don't know my model. A default model is like the test the volume. If the volume is working, click it work and give us a thumbs up. If it doesn't work, try the next code. Now, when you turn off the TV, it should be able to turn off. If it doesn't, you'll have to try a different code. If you're still having problems with your remote and you feel like you're doing the happy dance with it, like I mentioned earlier, if you have a low battery, you can go through the motions of programming and not get any results. So it's best just to get new batteries or if you have a battery tester, you can rule that solution out by simply testing out the battery. And then if your battery is good, then you probably want to go ahead and check out the video in the description. And thank you for watching. It looks like this battery is low.